sorry, due to popular demand, I will be showing you guys how to make a video icon today. First thing you want to do is find a GIF on the internet. You can just do a Google search or whatever. Um, sometimes people make them from YouTube videos, but that's a whole nother story. It's much easier just to find the GIF that you want. And that way you can do it like this. When you open the GIF, you'll see it's like this in Photoshop. It'll play your little layers, um, your frames and your animation. What you want to do is you want to go ahead and um, select all your frames, and select all your layers, and since I'm going to put it in the space below the picture, I'm going to make it 100 pixels wide, just the size of your icon. And what you do is simply drag onto your other picture, as you see. Um, you can place it however you want to on there. I'm going to do it like that. Then what you're going to do is go to Make Frames from Layers. And you'll see they're all on there, but the top part, the top picture isn't. So you're going to make sure this is selected, this layer, the image layer, and you're going to um, go here and do match layer across frames. That'll put it on all the frames. And I'll just go ahead and delete that first one. And then you play it like that you can adjust the uh, timing to be differently if you like you don't also don't have to use all the layers and the gifts that you choose you can delete some make your um, file size smaller so that's an issue for some people um, yeah and if you want to add a stroke you can add a stroke whatever you want to do it's not going to interfere. Whenever you save, this is probably the important part. Um, you go to save for web devices. There's no transparency in this image, but we have all our colors, and you want to save as a GIF. Then when you preview it, this is the one you should have. You want to do no dither. That way you don't lose any quality and when you save just save like that and ta-da that's how you make a gif icon an animated gif icon